Hello, so I am just going to talk a little bit about elbow hypermobility. Um, this is quite common um, in women, uh, less so in men, but men can still suffer with it. Um, so basically, elbow hypermobility is sort of the ability to do that sort of thing with your elbow. It's basically where the ligaments around the elbow are a little bit stretchier, you know, a bit more stretchy than they should be. Um, so it just allows the joint to move further than it should. It's not particularly dangerous. However, when we're doing pole and aerial, um, you don't really want it to get to this position in terms of the, you know, when you straighten it. So um, just as another thing to check if you've got it, if you pop, your hands shoulder width apart in front of you. A little bit of pressure just through them. So I'm just leaning forward like this. And then if you just fully straighten out your arms, so straighten them as far as they go, um, you can see whether your elbows are hypermobile or not. Now, a normal elbow will straighten, and you know, so this, the face of the elbow, the, the front of the elbow, might go to about there and you can feel that that's fully straight when you've got hypermobility it goes past okay so for me especially with this one it's pointing off in that direction over there right one not so much okay but you can see that the front of the elbow is most definitely facing forward and i've got that lovely angle there okay so first off decide if you think you need to do something with this so what you can do for your elbows when they're hypermobile is um, to strengthen the supporting muscles around the joint um, to give more stability to the elbows also you can train your elbow to stop at a certain point and then with your muscles hold it at that point so for example myself when I'm doing pole stuff um, especially some of the lifts through to like a handspring up to an asia i can actually hold my elbow now in the right point so that it is like a normal straight as opposed to my straight but it's taken me a while to be able to do that so i'm just going to show you some basic exercises to start with that so start sort of it's building up the proprioception so those are your joint receptors receptors that will tell the or let the joint know where it is in space and how it's being held so it's effectively a little bit of training of, of those as well so you're then basically telling your elbow where you want it to be rather than it just going oh but i go to here okay so once you've decided that you probably need to do some of this okay first things first if you come up to a box position fully straighten your elbows and then just bring them back. So rotate them back in so that they'll feel bent and they won't feel very strong at the moment. But that front bit of the elbow, I want it to face its partner. Okay, so they're now facing each other. You can see at that point that my arms are straight. Okay, they're not over straight. Okay, and so we're here. And all we're gonna do to start is hold that. Okay, so you probably have to really think about it to start with. And if you find your attention wanders while you're trying to hold it, they'll drop back to, you know, over straight. So we're just here and we're just going to hold it. And we're going to count to 10. Okay, so you're just doing a nice 10 second hold of that position. So you're telling your elbows, this is where I want you to be. Okay, this is the best position, okay, for doing pole, doing aerial and doing other stuff as well. But... Okay, so we hold it like that. Have a relax. Take them off again. And then do it again. And again, you might find, oh, hang on. Oops, they've gone straight. Right, let's pull them back to a normal straight. Not a normal straight. Say, a, you know. A... Okay, so we're here again. We're holding. And so to start off, all you're going to do is just hold that until you're able to put your arms down or put your hands onto the floor and go to that position straight away without thinking about it. Okay, we're up right here, okay? 
So that's the first sort of level. You can start with 10 seconds, you can build up to 20 and 30 and so on. Um, like I say, it's not, it's not a major strengthening exercise. It's just teaching the joint the best position for it to be in, okay? If you then want to move on, so once you're there, the best next thing to do is to add some movement, okay? So we just start doing a box press up. So we're here, and then you're just gonna put a little bend through and come back up. Little bend, come back up. And again, what you want to happen is that you come back to this point and you're not going bend straight. Oh dear, no. Bend back to here, okay? So you, again, you start in this position, make sure you can hold it first. Little bit of movement, come back up to there. Again, you're probably gonna find that you're gonna have to think about it to start with. So control the movement down, bring it back up, stop at that point, yeah? Bend. And back up to here, okay? So again, hold it first. Tell your elbows where you want them to go, where you want them to stop moving, moving at. Bend down, doesn't have to be a full press up, and then come back to here. Bend, come back to here. Okay, so you're just training the joint so that each time it comes back to this point and doesn't drop to there, okay? So there's other things that we can do with that, but those are the best things to start off with because at the moment it's building almost like a mind-body connection with this because like I say, at the moment the elbows will just go where they want to. So you have to tell them, no, I actually want you to stop here now, okay? This is where I want you to work from. And like I said, this will help those of you who've got this with your pole and your aerial as you go through, okay? So it'll make a much stronger joint, make everything much more stable so have a play see where you're at with that and yeah we can add more stuff later on if we need to but let's start with that okay have fun